Since talking with my team about questioning my Christianity, I've gotten a few questions. Am I still saved? The living situation is way better than where it was the first couple nights. So we have two whole teams, 13 people that are currently living here, and one bathroom. So you can imagine how things work. But we have bucket showers again, and those are always fun. My showers are always way shorter in a bucket shower. Three separate patio areas, got three bedrooms, and we fit 13 people in this. It's only possible because we have like four plus people, myself included, in tents outside. I finally used my tent. I was pumped to do so because I actually haven't unpacked it since launch. So I don't even know if I had all of it. I had all of it. So that was nice. Rainfly works. And that's awesome. Let's go. So for those first couple nights, we were living inside the school slash church. Which is nice, but it's nice to actually have my own space for once. Totally. Privacy. It's the little things in life. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I think we're doing a coffee hour now, or something like that. They said there'd be coffee. Oh, and this is Ashwin. Hi! She's been in a couple of my vids, but I haven't actually introduced her yet. My bad! Hi! I'm Ashlyn, I'm from Greenville, North Carolina. I'm 24, I'm not on Caleb's team, but I've been in several of his videos. Shout out to my mom, I know you're watching this. Love you, miss you. <laughs> oh, that's too cute. Hi, Ashlyn's mom. <laughs> Surprise. Sing with me how great Since talking with my team about questioning my Christianity, I've gotten a few questions. The first one, being which is, am I still saved? Or maybe that's not how they worded it. Something regarding my salvation. I appreciate this question, one, because it shows they kind of actually care about my immortal soul. That's very nice of you. But on the other hand, that question kind of annoys me almost because it would assume that questioning everything in itself is turning my back on God. I don't really think that's the way it works. I really think questions actually push us into deeper relationship, if anything else. It's just getting to know somebody more and really pushing into that and really taking the time to invest in that type of relationship. I think you do that with anyone, especially like human relationships, right? If you really want to get to know someone, you ask them questions. You don't just assume they'll tell you everything eventually. You almost gotta work it out of them. And in doing so, it, it builds a rapport, a trust, that you can really depend on this person. So no. I don't think questioning is wrong at all. I think it's actually very healthy and I highly recommend it. Please, question everything. That's the best part about being human. That and eating. Mm. Eating is fantastic. They keep feeding us and they keep making us home cooked meals. Which by the way, we would never be able to afford that good of a meal for that low of a price here in the Philippines. And oh man, it's delicious. We've gotten rice every single meal. I think breakfast, I think I showed it here. Everything on the table was made of rice. So we're not doing the cool stick dance, but the girls are doing that. We're doing the, the flowery hat dance. The hat dance. We're doing the hat dance. I'm super rebellious right now. All my tattoos are showing. Walker has his covered up. Shame, Caleb, for shame. Evidently Christians here don't have tattoos. Whoopsies! After a hard day of dancing, they decided to feed us. Does it mean? I think if I'm tearing down my fundamental box of faith, that once everything is laid to pieces, that I start again with the cornerstone, right? Which is Jesus. That cornerstone where everything is built up. Um, and Jesus is a very interesting character. I'm reading the Old Testament, right? Because you gotta go through that stuff. And that's highly educational at the moment, seeing 
God from that perspective and God's relationship with man in that. And then also because I'm trying to figure out my own gospel and since technically I'm supposed to preach here in the Philippines, it's really conservative here, at least in this area, very conservative Christians. So men are pastors and men give sermons. Women only give testimonies. My thoughts on that later. I should have a couple of sermons prepared. So I want to go over the gospel again, so I'm reading Mark, right? The youngest gospel written by the youngest person, Mark. Very quick, to the point, what you need to know about Jesus Christ. And the one major thing I've seen um, pop up again in this is that Jesus really loves kids. Whoa. subconscious about what I wanted to show in my videos and you can look back and you can see them as very I don't know I don't know exactly what I was trying to do and I, to be honest I really don't know what I'm trying to get to here but I really didn't show everything it was very much just a picturesque yay perfect world raceness according to Caleb and that's not fair and now that I'm questioning everything it allows me to open up to a different oh, sorry. And now that I'm questioning, <laughs> and now that I'm questioning everything again, it it allows me to open up a safe space to literally show you what's happening because I don't necessarily agree or disagree with what's going on. It's just this is the life I am currently in, and this is the incubator for my little questions. You get to see firsthand, so it's nice not to be able to pull my punches. And besides, I don't want to live in a world of black and white. And Aaron gave me some feedback that said I was I'm a very black and white person not who I want to be. I really want to live in that gray area because in that gray area allows me to provide grace and understanding and to meet people on whatever level they're at instead of telling them they have to come up here or I have to look, go down there to be with them. I can very much flow in that. And being in the gray area means I am able to meet people where they're at and not necessarily condone their actions, but call out the good in them that I see. Yeah, that's a struggle I'm working on. I really don't know how to do it. Today was a good day. I definitely need to go to bed because we have church at 7.30. So, I'll see you next time.